Good evening. You're watching the late news on HKIBC. I'm Raymond Yeung. And I'm Karen Yeung. Here are tonight's top stories. Fishing boat crew missing after vessel collides with oil tanker off Lama. Ombudsman slams health department for high rate of absences for student health checks. And jury to decide fate of four protesters in 2016 Mong Kok riot. Rescuers are searching the waters of Lama for the crew of a fishing boat that sank after colliding with an oil tanker this morning. It was not known how many people were on the fishing vessel, while all 13 crew members of the oil tanker were safe. A sea and air search was underway after a mainland registered oil tanker collided with a fishing vessel south of Lemma Island. After the crash, the fishing boat began to sink. It was not immediately known how many people were on board. Police said the oil tanker was carrying 13 people and were all safe. It is understood that three of them jumped into the sea in an attempt to save crew members of the fishing boat, but they were unable to help and had to be rescued. They did not suffer any major injuries and did not have to be sent to the hospital. Police images showed the oil tanker was undamaged. The 97-meter-long ship departed from Qingdao on Thursday. It was expected to arrive in Shenzhen last night at about 11 p.m. However, at around 8.30 a.m. today, it collided with the fishing vessel, which was also registered on the mainland. The Fire Services Department was alerted at 8.44 a.m. Fireboats were dispatched from Central Government Pier. The Marine Department's Maritime Rescue and Coordination Center assisted in the rescue. The government flying service was also called to the scene. An investigation by the Ombudsman has found nearly one-third of students registered in the Health Department's annual health assessment did not attend their sessions in the past few years. The government watchdog slammed the department for failing to adopt measures to boost attendance of the program, which cost the government about $200 million a year. Primary and secondary school students are familiar with the Student Health Service program, but many of them are choosing not to attend it. Although 9 out of 10 students enrolled for physical and mental health checks at dedicated Department of Health centers, an investigation by the Ombudsman found that the attendance rate was much lower. In the past few years, only 65 percent of participants appeared for their assessment sessions. This meant that over 200,000 students skipped their health checks. The attendance rate by secondary school students was 50 percent, much worse than their younger counterparts. Ombudsman Connie Lau blasted the Department of Health for not doing enough to boost the low participation level. The um, uh, Department of Health should really, as the chief uh, department responsible for the uh, plan, they should be alerted of such low attendance rate and they should also to look into reason leading to this very low attendance rate. But unfortunately, they, uh, this is not done. The government watchdog also found inadequate follow-up actions on case referrals. After the center referred a case to a different health unit, it would suspend follow-up actions until the student's next annual assessment. Many of the students referred did not attend the assessment. The center did not know the condition of the student and could not provide appropriate support. In addition, the ombudsman found students were not accompanied by their parents when they came to their sessions. Those students would be asked to deliver a report to their parents, including those with mental health concerns. The ombudsman found the reports lacking. Those check-in reports to be submitted to their parents are a bit generalized. We are hoping more accurate and specific uh, things could be included in the report so that our parents could, well, uh, could grasp more, thing, uh, more details about um, their children. The watchdog recommended the department review the contents of the reports in order to set out results and recommendations more clearly. It also suggested a system be set up to regularly remind health units to update the center on referred cases. Four key protesters in the 2016 model.